Hey kiddos, it's Mrs. Croft from Early College Prep at Loman Hill and I'm your second grade math teacher, one of them for this semester. I'm so excited and we're back for the third lesson about adding and subtracting to 10. So let's talk about what we're going to learn today. We're learning to add and subtract like units. We have succeeded when we can take out the tens, add and subtract tens, and add and subtract ones. So now we're separating what's called the place value, the ones and then the tens, and we're going to add and subtract those together. So here we go. Our vocabulary is our rec and rec, the tool used for counting. We have our base 10 blocks, the blocks that represent units, tens, hundreds, and thousands even. And we have our number bond, a three-part set of numbers that are related. So same vocabulary. We're going to play a game. We're going to play 10 frame flash. So when I show you this 10 frame, which is 5 and 5, you're going to tell me what my number is. How many dots are on this 10 frame? Okay. Now, the key to this is to look at how many are missing. Okay. This is like the I say, you say number pairs. So let's do the first one. Ready? What's my number? Two. That's right. Now, how many are missing? Yeah, eight. Good job. A whole row of five and then three more are missing. Here's the next one. What's my number? Five. Yeah, because a whole row is filled with dots and we know that each row is five so you can just look at this really quick and you can see that it is five and how many are missing that's five good job all right that was just a real quick fluency so you get better and better at looking at tens now i bet you've already looked over here and you said oh my gosh that's seven <laughs> it's seven i know it because this group together is five it's just like a 10 frame but it's stacked up and down okay so we're going to add and subtract like units. We're going to say addition and subtraction sentences that this drawing represents. So we are going to show relationships between what you could add together or subtract to make this number. Now we've already said that this number is seven. Okay, so we're going to make two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. See the minus signs and the plus signs to make this number. So if we were going to make this total, how many are here and how many are here? Five plus two equals seven. Now we could flip that over and we could say, well, another addition sentence was if we started at the top. Two plus five equals seven. Good job. So then when we're subtracting, we're going to show these same numbers. You see how it just flip flopped? We're going to show the relationship with subtraction. So with subtraction, you always start with the whole. Okay, this is just like our number bonds. The whole is the big number. So what do you think this is going to start with? Yeah, you're right, 7. And we could say 7 minus 5 equals 2. Or we could say 7 minus 2 equals 5. That is the relationship between these dots and these numbers here. Okay, we're going to do another one. Take a look at this box. And we're going to make addition and subtraction sentences to show the relationship between these dots. That's why we sometimes call it a fact family because families are related to each other. So how are these related to each other? Well, what's the value that we have? Four tens, seven. Good job. So 40 plus seven is... Oh my goodness, that's our first answer, 47, good job. Now we could flip flop these to equal 47 and we could start with the ones. So how about you say that? How many ones plus how many tens equals 47, good job. Seven plus 40 equals 47. So we're starting with the ones. We started with the tens and then we started with the ones and we still got the same answer. So these three numbers are all the same. Sometime you might see a sentence where one number is missing. And if you look at the other sentence that is related to it, you know which member of that family is missing. 
So let's start here. We're going to do subtraction. What are we going to start with? 40? 7? No, you're right. We're going to start with the whole 47 minus, well, you're just going to pick one of these parts. So how about this? 40 minus 7. If we take away the 1s, all we have left are the 10s. And we can flip-flop to do the same thing. Okay, 47 minus 40 equals 7. 47 the whole minus the 10s equals the 1s. All right, look at this one. Well, I bet you already looked and saw that there's 7 over here again, but sometimes these you have to count. And you have to count them really closely because sometimes your eyes can go back and forth and you can count them twice. So let's count them together. 1, 2, 3. Well, they're 10s, right? Let's count them like 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60 and 7. So 60 plus, you got it. Oh my goodness, you're so good at this. And then we flip-flop and we would say... Yep, 7 plus 60 equals 67. Yes, you're right. We're going to start over here with what? 67. It Take away the 1s and you have left the 10s. What if we flip-flop? Take away the 10s and you have the 1s. 67 minus these 60 would leave you with just the 1s, the 7. Man, this is how we add and subtract like units. And you guys are good at it. Okay, what if we look at this right here? Let's break down this big number, okay? When you have one that is not a zero, a multiple of 10, it makes it a little hard. So when we break down the big number, we split it. We take out the tens and we take out the ones and we separate the values so we can see it better and maybe it'll make it easier, it will, <laughs> to add or subtract. So now we're going to add your tens. So we have 50, and 20 are 10. So we're going to add 50 plus 20 and get 70. But don't forget, don't forget this little guy right here. We still have to add our ones. So if there's tens and ones, we always just separate them and add the tens and add the ones. How many ones do we have here? That's right, one. How many ones do we have here? Well, none. So we only have one. So we're going to take this and we're going to add that one to it and we have 71, so your answer is going to be 71. Taking out the tens makes it easier to just see your tens so you can group those together and then add the ones to it. Okay, here's the next one. Let's break down the big number, 54. Five tens, four. So we're gonna take out those tens, good job. Now we're going to, you got it, we're gonna add your tens. So 50 plus 20 equals Five tens plus two more tens is seven tens, 70. Now, how many ones did we have? Anybody see the ones? Anybody see the ones? We're gonna add those ones. Oh, there it is. How many ones? Four, so we're gonna take our tens, 70, and we're gonna add those four in, and you have 74. Five tens, four, plus two more tens is seven tens, four, 74. You guys are so good at this. Let's break down this big number. 71 is, yep, take out those tens. Seven tens, one. Separate them, we make a little branch. Well, actually, it's a number bond without the circles. If you see it, see the whole and the parts. And now we're gonna subtract. 20. Ooh, be careful. Look at those signs. Just like when you're driving down the road with your mom or your dad and you see a sign and maybe mom's not paying attention. You say, mom, there's a stop sign. Well, pay attention. You got to watch the signs because if she misses a stop sign, something bad could happen. Well, if you miss the sign, the subtraction sign, something bad is going to happen. You're not going to get the right answer. You're going to think you have the right answer, but it's not going to make sense. and You're not going to have the right answer. Watch your signs, okay? So this is a subtraction sign. We are going to subtract our tens. So we have seven tens minus two tens. We have seven tens minus two tens. Seven tens minus two is how many tens? That's right, five tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we have 50, okay? Now we're gonna subtract our ones. Ooh, that's a little bit harder. Let's see, we have one one here minus no ones here. 
So one minus zero is still one because there's none over here. Always start on the left and work to the right. Then we're gonna add our tens and ones together. So we have five tens, one 50 plus one is 51. All right, now we're gonna do another one. Break down the big number. Take out your tens. Oh, look at the sign, it's subtract. We're gonna subtract our tens. So seven tens minus two tens is five tens again. Now let's look at our ones. We're gonna subtract our ones, that's the next step. You did the tens, now you do the ones. Tens and then ones, and tens and then ones, okay? Don't forget them. Four ones minus zero ones is four still. You have four, you don't take away anything, zero, and you still have what you had when you started. And now we're gonna add them together, and 50 plus four is 54. So you're separating, subtracting, and then you're putting it back together, okay? breaking it down just a little bit. All right, that was a lot to think about. So if you need to rewind this video and go back and look at it again, try some yourself. Try 36 minus 10 and see if you can get a, the right answer. Double check it, work with your parents, and here's your exit ticket. Your exit ticket looks like this, but you are going to draw that number bond. Draw the number bond, take out your 20, take out your three, and work it out from there, okay? Here's your homework, and don't forget, you can always go online, you can do these fun activities. This is really good practice. Number bonds, and ooh, this is a cool one. Build your robot, and math lines is kind of like bubble pop, a little bit different. Watch the video again, keep practicing. Practice makes better every single time, and if you don't understand something, rewind, pause the video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you had fun today. I had a good time. You have learned to subtract and add different values from tens, from multiples of tens, and subtract and add like units. So I hope you had a good time, and I will see you next time.